Hello guys and welcome back to Amnesia. So this is the third time I record this part. GX Tor apparently doesn't work with Camtasia, so I'm gonna use Fraps again. So I'm back once again to Amnesia. And uh, I just restarted the game because I had some problems. What do you wanna say? Get out. Refinery. I hope the game works now. It's been a while since I played last time, and I also reinstalled the game a couple of times. I think it was two times. Where? It sure is dark in here. Yes, and there's a good reason for it. But you can light the lamp <gasps> now if you wish. Yes. What's the reason for the darkness? That is. Stay close. Be Welcome careful back. not to stray. What's the reason? Why is it so dark? Pay attention, Dandel. It's important that you keep going straight and make sure not to stray. Let's go. Yeah, it works now. It works. Someone coming? I don't know. Did I say that? I hope not. Oh, crap. What about it? Oh damn it, I fell to the ground. The 2nd of June, 1839. Pretter, it's been more than a month since my last entry. After the event inside the underground chamber in Algeria, Professor Herbert insisted I return to England. He said he didn't want to risk forfeiting the entire expedition lest I took a turn for the worse. An excessive decision, in retrospect. But I'm glad it turned out that way. I found my journal this morning in the haphazard collection of things brought home from Africa. Next to it lay the broken stone orb wrapped in cloth. I tried to assemble it, but couldn't. The pieces wouldn't fit together, as if they weren't from the same object. Could I have imagined it all? Was there ever a complete orb? Well, good question. I'll give you that. What is there? What? What? Barrels, I know you were blocking my way. I hate you, you're just everywhere. Alright. Ha, huh, it's alright there. Well, I got my crosser back, I think. No. Oh! Is that a leg up there? That would be freaking disgusting. Oh, it's just a branch. There we go. Slight? Well, that does work. What in the hell? Solar archives. What's going on here? God damn it. You again. Well, what about that one? Anything else here that you want to hide? Yeah. 
I'm not up there. Ow! That's the first time that I got hit by the water monster. Oh, I think that's better. Gates open. Well. Good 
crushed him, Daniel. That's cool. Oh, no. Ooh, Lord, no, no, no. I don't think I'm there yet. Well, they can stand up there. It's gone. It melted. 2nd of July, 1839. I received a letter today from the Algerian governor's office disclosing the fate of Herbert's expedition. About a week after my departure, Abdullah, one of the men traveling with us, returned from the desert. He was badly injured, as if maimed by a lion. The man rambled deliriously about the expedition being attacked by something horrible. The French quickly dispatched a search party to look for the expedition. After searching for days, they found the camp abandoned without any trace of Herbert or his men. Tomorrow, I'll retrieve the things they recovered from Herbert's tent at the customs house. I don't know what to make of it, but I'm worried for him. Oh yeah. Cool then, it'll do. May 17th, the day I was trapped inside the orb chamber, Herbert dryly states, Recovered Daniel after one hour of entrapment. This confused me greatly. I was suffocating within minutes. How could I have lasted an hour? But I continued reading the peculiar text. Herbert states his facts without judgment or passion, but suddenly I could read frustration into his text. He pushed his men to investigate the underground tomb, an effort which seems to have strained the minds of his men. Madness spread through the ranks, and Herbert had to take some extreme measures to continue. He finally visits the chamber himself, where he retrieves the orb to the surface. His account confuses me greatly. If he has the orb, what are those pieces in my drawing room? Good question. Those questions. Hello! I'm a rabbit. Mama no, I can fly. No, no, don't burn me. I'll burn you if you, if I want it. And I also need something to burn. <laughs> Find all the way to have uh, open stuff. Now, crowbar time, bitches. What about my crowbar? The key. Please let it be here. Oh no, oh no, you don't try. Please. What? They can move through doors? Is she still there? No? That's weird. to the drawing room and a cup of tea. The relic pieces lay spread across the table as I'd left them, but somehow I knew how it was supposed to be. I fetched the tar, which I prepared to fix the pieces together, and without fault I joined them, producing the orb I remembered so clearly. The tar proved unnecessary. It was pushed out from the joining pieces as they merged on their own, with no adhesive. The ancient stone relic now rests on my table. Its immaculate surface and perfect shape could have been molded by a factory. This is all too strange. Okay. Seriously. Oh, thank God, there it is. I guess it is a good place to hide it then.
I don't want to, to come back and find me. Well, he didn't. I think. No, he didn't come. He didn't want to join me. Well, I might end the episode soon. What is this? What is this? I don't even know a Maltese book. Another thing to burn. Well, I don't even know what it is. You do well. Whoa! Green shot to say. It's a cool, cool price. Well, this was here before. A torso. Disgusting. It's so disgusting. <laughs> I like how it flops when it touches the ground. Alright guys, I'm gonna go to the study next time. So, thanks for watching. You can subscribe if you want to. Or leave a like, it helps me out a lot. It helps my channel grow. So, I'll leave you with a choice if you want to subscribe me or not. Goodbye!